hours a week, an extra 10 hours can be a game changer for a lot of international students who are already struggling with this heavy tuition and all the cost of living. And when you people back home here, this amount are like, woo! students hope you're doing very well hey guys welcome back to the young and independent channel where we discuss all things a plus mindset personal development and financial freedom for africans i'm your girl sylvie and today i've got great news for my black people who are in the uk guys i just read some news and the uk is changing the law when it comes to the number of hours that international students can work guess what you guys can get more hours i'm so excited right because the thing is, I've been asking myself, like, what's going on in this country? Not only is the fee very high, literally, my sister is studying petroleum and chemical engineering, and her fee is like 22,500 pounds a year. A single year, that's like 18 million CFA. And I don't know about your currency, you multiply. I mean, international students make up the, the education economy in this country because many people, many British people don't go to to high school they don't go to uni and so we can we get to pay all the money and we get to maintain the universities but they get to cap how many hours we can work for and for how long and i've always thought that that was very unfair recently my sister even during the holidays she wanted to go to work she wasn't able to because of the train strikes i don't know if you know this but benefits are being capped right now the uk is losing about 10 billion because of work from home as a result of COVID-19. So post-COVID is looking very bad for the country. First off, they wanted everyone to leave. They wanted Brexit. They didn't want any uh, Europeans or black people and stuff. They, didn't, oh, they wanted everyone to leave. Okay, no problem. People packed up and left. And so what's going on is that there's so many jobs but not enough people to do the job. So what is going on? And I'm like, okay, if you guys don't want to do the job right, and you prefer to you know receive benefits and all why don't you let people who want to do the work to do the work and the last i heard was that the new home secretary she's trying to stop uh she's trying to make it very hard for people to get study visas to come to the uk because people are getting visas in universities that are mushroom to get mushroom degrees have you ever heard of this like in this country there are universities that are considered mushroom universities and i was talking with a friend and the friend was like why don't they just take away sponsor sponsorship from the universities that are mushroom universities and an indian paper actually reported that uh 65 percent of international students in this country are indians and the people that are targeted by this new law are indians why because they say that indians are coming here they're getting uh to get what, uh, silly degrees and they spend their whole time working but what's wrong with that i mean if people are paying you twenty two thousand five hundred a year and your own nationals are paying around nine thousand they get government support they get all these things you expect people who are from poor countries right because they call us people from developing countries underdeveloped countries where the ones the charitable cases but yet you guys are charging us 22k you know for, for school fee and I was talking to myself, I was like, we better, you know, and then on top of that, you cannot, they say that you cannot tutor the thing, the different type of jobs that you cannot do. So most international students actually get to do, um, they, they're actually limited only to jobs that do not really serve them, like uh, hard, hard jobs, you know, jobs that do not add value to the degrees that they're necessarily doing. And they're just, I find it really hard to, to understand why the process will be this way but i understand however that the premise behind coming to this country right is to get your degree is not to work because before you come to the uk they'll ask you for your bank statement it has to be 30 days valid they'll ask you for proof that you've paid your fee proof that you can cover your fee your maintenance fee and some change to pay your school fee that's that's legit you know to show that you're a legitimate student will ask you for all these things however you know when you're here you have to leave because the country is very expensive right so the rents are not cheap 
food is not cheap, travel is not cheap. So during that time you have to work. And because every year they increase the fee because of in, as a result of inflation, it is, it is, I don't see why they would cap students' hours. What is sure is that if you're able to do your school work, you're able to go to school, if you're able to, to pass your exams and there's an attendance register, students should be allowed to work more than 20 hours, basically. So I'm so, so, so happy that we're working. So previously, for those who don't know, previously uh, in the UK, as an international student, you're only allowed to work for 20 hours a week. In an entire week, you cannot work more than 20 hours. But right now, they're increasing it to 30 hours a week. Yeah, well, that's what, you know, it's, on, it's in the news. So I'm very excited, 30 hours a week, an extra 10 hour can be a game changer for a lot of international students who are already struggling with this heavy tuition and all the cost of living. And when you people back home hear this amount, they're like, whoa, yes, that's how I feel. It is crazy, it is very expensive. Uh, especially when you're going to the type of universities that my sister is going to. When I did my MBA, my tuition was 16,000 uh, British pounds and she is paying, the first year she paid 22,000, this year it went up by 500, or well, the first year she paid 21, this year it went, went up by 1,500, so 21, 22,500 and that's insane. But however, I'm celebrating with all of you international students. I hope you're able to use those extra 10 hours to make bank okay we have to work in this country and if British people most of them who don't want to work they should give the room for people who want to work to do their work because international students are desperate they prefer they're leaving their countries to come here because they want to make something better out of their lives so if they're able to work they have the capacity they have the willingness to work and go to school I don't think that they should be they should be um, forbidden to do so and it's a good thing for British people right because you get people to go and work for you put money in the government coffers and you get more benefits so yay we're very excited about these guys all right I hope you like this news stick around subscribe to this channel I'll bring more information like this and see you until next time bye bye